Hello everyone, this is Sarah Fira, and welcome back to Colony Survival. So, I have no idea what day it is because Colony Survival really doesn't care. But, if you look up in the top right, my food is at 54, which is pretty low. I have no idea how close to daylight we are. Well, let's see what's going on outside here. Guards are up. And apparently it's nice and quiet. Okay, that's good. It looks like the sun is about to come up. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's go look to where food should be growing. Oh, apparently the berry farmer is already up. We're at 54 food still. Wheat is on its way. There's not a whole lot I can do because if I buy another colonist, you buy it with food, which means I would go down to four food. So, what we're going to need to do eventually. Now we're down to 50. Uh, once the wheat starts coming in, is to make a, I believe, a wheat grinder and a baker. Uh, so we can make flour and then turn it into bread, which will be colony. It's already daylight, the nighttime guards are still up. What I want to do is figure out uh, some sort of path. Uh, because this is really close to the flags. And as I progress in science, I guess. This one right here, Banner Radius, increases the safe radius created to 40 blocks. I don't currently know what it is right now, but uh, it extends from here. So, the safe radius means... I'll well, just click 2. Where this red or green, green area stops, or the red area starts. So... Uh, this, as you can kind of see over here, this little line, is where the zombies will spawn. And I think it's a square. I don't think it's uh, an actual radius. Yeah, it's just it's a square. Just like Minecraft is a square. And it, I believe it also extends upwards and downwards. So if I dig too low with this dwarf slash mining colony, uh, I may hit where zombies might come at me from underneath. So. Food is staying fairly well stable at the moment. It is on the way down. Did I just get moved? At? Where are we at? 51. So it did come back up. This is my inventory again. So I've got wheat seeds, sapling. I've got 50 berries. I don't know what people are eating. What I need to do is make this grindstone. 
great flower, but the wheat hasn't even grown once yet. Okay, I am going to use this area as beds, and I'm going to use here. This is a hall. Yeah, sure. As long as we're waiting, let's just take it all out. So this here is where I want to make the next cropland. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So, just making another cropland because I'm going to need it. Um, okay, good. We're going to need lots of farmers to feed lots of colonists. All the stone I'm getting will help for building external structures. Okay, apparently the food stayed stable. I'm at still at 50. are not grown yet. They're starting to. You can see them changing colors.
The other thing is that we should probably also build down. Uh, not here on this side because of mining opportunities is because, well, God, is 3D, so <laughs> use all the space you got. So currently everything is green, there's nothing red in here, which is great. Now on the other side, we're going to want to look for these objects. I don't know exactly what they are. Gold, probably. I think there's coal here. Uh, again, this side, this side seems to be a little more rich with resources on the other side, but uh, we can hopefully find things over there as well. Seems to be still a little stable at 43 or something like that. already harvesting the wheat. And it's planting as he goes. And he should be. I haven't counted it. Uh, I got 12 wheat. And 323 seeds. He should be making more seeds as he goes.
where I built this is very, very steep. Uh, I don't know. Let's just throw some stone down here. This is steep doesn't mean I can't do what I want to do, which is a stair that goes this way, and then that way, and then that way, and then that way, and then they all have to come all the way down if they're coming from that direction, or this way, and then all the way up through a bunch of guards.
So, a couple other things I did which you may not have seen. Let's move in here really quick. Sorry, I moved a couple things here uh, so that you could see in this direction. I don't need the science table anymore. Uh, as you can see, my food is red. It says 64 left, but I added a bunch of berry farmers. So there are three by ten spaces. So three by ten here, so there's one two, and three by ten here, so there's one two, which puts these right next to each other. But it's a little bit more efficient than this four by ten. Um, there by ten. Did I was was I saying by two? Anyway. 4x10, 3x10, 3x10. And so we've got berry farmers working here. I have a second, I don't know if I showed that in the last video or not, a second wheat farmer. Uh, the problem right now is I'm not needing food in order to make the wheat grinder to make flour, which you cannot eat as the flour, but you can eat wheat. Yeah, I don't know if I showed it last or not. Uh, I don't think it is there, but Lucy's are only 0.4, these are 0.6 for food value. So even though we're getting a ton of wheat, you know, it's not as healthy as the berries. Red, on the other hand, once you finally get it done, is worth three. And I need two more stations, which means two more colonists means two more mouths to feed, and which means I need to spend 100 food to get those extra colonists. Uh, yes, I could probably destroy some more things. I might destroy, thinking of that, a miner. I've got plenty of copper at the moment. But I think I'm just going to let this go. Let him just stockpile the copper, and what I'm going to do is basically end the video right now. Let people work behind the scenes so that I'm just stockpiling food. Uh, I'm going to do my homework <laughs> while I'm letting the game run because I seem to be pretty safe right here. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, on another video. But that's where I'm going to end this video for now. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties, but here we are. Uh, I think we are pretty safe. I will probably upgrade all of this to stone so it doesn't look so rough. Anyway. I uh, guess I was a little... and uh, <laughs> shaken. I don't know if shaken is the right word, but <laughs> I forgot to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> really, guys, I do appreciate you watching the videos, which is why I wanted to record this at the end again, because I do appreciate you guys watching, and I wanted to make sure I said that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks, guys.